I really hope we can hear Ron Paul tonight. It'll be our closing bird dog session. Back to New York tomorrow. Let's just hope that Ron is available. Oh, that would lead it right there. something where corporations would uh, you know provide the medical benefits they'd get the, the, the deductions and the people who weren't involved then if an individual went involved they didn't get the tax deduction so it was very very unfair it should actually the the corporations should have been involved and it would have been better for all of us to assume responsibility that we go out and buy our insurance and, and look for the policies that are automatically transferable and it doesn't go with our jobs then it became a problem because your in, your insurance was associated with your business, and then you had to say, well, we're going to move it, and it's going to go to another company. Complicate. It should have been the private all along, but I would do anything I could to get the proper deduction. Matter of fact, the one thing, and, and this, of course, is going in the opposite direction of what Obamacare does, and uh, what we should do is, uh, is make sure that anybody and everybody can get uh, their money back through a tax credit of some sort, and uh, maybe have tax, you know, a savings account, which is totally tax deductible, and uh, and then if that's tax deductible, get a major medical policy. And the important reason for that is, if we get the doctor and the patient talking to each other again, now it's corporate medicine, uh, and, and the lobbyists in Washington <clears throat> never, some of the, the big players don't care about how big the government is, they just want to get in and get part of the pie. So you have the drug companies and insurance companies and health management companies, so it is very much a corporation. On personhood of the, uh, of the corporation, now, individuals, personhood implies rights. Uh, only individuals have rights. You don't have rights by groups. with having rights by groups, there's two, re two reasons why that isn't good. One, you punish a group, which we all have had to live through a system of punishment by certain groups and discrimination against groups, and that's wrong. 
But privileges to groups aren't any better. So that's why we should all be individuals. And, and if you happen to have a legal organization, it's the individual that should be responsible. And uh, the, the corporation itself isn't a person. Uh, only we as individuals are. Thank you. All right, I'm really pleased to have gotten my question to uh, Congressman Paul and uh, thank him for supporting Equity for Our Nation Self-Employed Act, co-sponsor in the House of Representatives. He's been for several, several sessions and uh, he didn't say he'd cut the self-employment tax in half, but another idea I have as his ballot is at least giving the self-employed a tax credit and he went right for that. And, uh, and he doesn't believe in corporate personhood, which is a really good thing, because uh, corporations are people, and, and responsibility begins with people. Hey, self-employed, we're not organized. You need to ask these questions. You just need to ask these questions, because if some politician actually wakes up and does it the old-fashioned way and says, hey, there's some people there that need representation, then maybe we can make a difference and they all adopt our issues. We just need representation and let us, let us not have to hide from government. That would be really sweet and would help everybody a lot. So now we're gonna go back to New York. Um, this has been a great experience to live for your fight state. And uh, you know, really the bottom line is, hang on to your heart. Thanks. That's better.